Finally, after a full month of being disappointed and not being able to hit the road with Sky and travel, today finally marks day number one that we officially get to leave. Like, right now. Right now. <laughs> well, kind of. It's 1.14 in the afternoon right now. We're leaving at 2 a.m., but before I leave, I wanna make sure that this apartment is spotless because I'm going to be gone for my longest trip ever. And I don't wanna leave Lila with absolutely anything to worry about, so we gotta get cleaning. Home base is looking rough to say the least, but if you're new to the channel, my name is Becca. I travel around the country with my dog, Skye. Our home base is located in New England, but we've been kind of stranded here because of Skye's diagnosis and all her health issues. And we finally got the green light. So Skye and I are hitting the road tomorrow and it's going to be our longest and furthest trip ever. No spoilers, but it's going to be absolutely incredible. And I'm very overwhelmed right now, but super, super stoked to get ready and hit the road and just get going. But before we do that, like I said, there's a lot to get done. And the first thing I wanna tackle, these bad boys, dishes, my favorite. <laughs> I love dishes so much, wow. I'm basically packed and ready to go, minus a few things, of course, and then we're good. I gave Lila our three-year anniversary gift. <laughs> then she did my eyebrows, and then I ate some food. Now Sky and Lila are having some, some goodbye cuddles. Now I'm gonna go shower. Good morning. Ma'am, it's two in the morning. <laughs> Why are you rolling around? <laughs> I just caught her rolling in the dirt. Come on, come on, Skye. This rest stop is literally 100% closed. Even Dunkin' Donuts inside is closed. Oh well, at least Sky can get out and stretch her legs. I'm gonna try doing that as much as possible. We're not like in a rush to the point where I feel the need to not let her out as much as possible, you know? I don't know. You ready? Do you need to go potty? You need to go potty? Good girl. I literally just rolled out of bed. I haven't even touched my hair. Oh, she's peeing. Oh, I just stepped on a worm. Oh my God, there's worms everywhere. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh, there goes my ears. Oh my God. What is on my head right now? Her rest stop treat. <laughs> She's just being a really good girl, obviously, per usual. So she deserves a nice fish stick treat time. We are not in New England no more, Sky. Where are we? You know I'm overtired when I get red. Is my face that red? Oh. <gasps> Did I get sunburned? 15 minutes away. Just came off that main road right there. Um, the lady on the phone said past the black barn, which 
That's a black barn. They have some horses over there. That's so sick. And then, oh golly, I, I don't remember the directions too. Oh my God, those are cows. They have cows. And then I believe she said, look for the gray bins. And I'm guessing, oh my God, there's a horse. I meant a cow. Sorry, I'm overtired. I hope these people don't mind. I'm gonna say hi real quick. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Are you nice? Oh, no, it's okay. I just wanted to say hi. It's so good to meet you. Oh, your tail's going. I don't know what that means. I don't know cow body language. Oh my God, there's a baby. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely smells like a farm. I love the smell of a farm though. I don't know where I'm supposed to park, but I'm gonna figure it out. We're gonna get locked and loaded. Let Sky run around. Feels good. Feels good. It's been a long day to say the least. Where are we? Oh my goodness, where are we? Hopefully they don't have chickens because Sky tends to try to kill people's chickens. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> I wasn't gonna do um a hip camp tonight if you don't know what hip camp is it's basically like uh you you can rent people's private land and i didn't really know i was so tired that i decided to just book one you can do like an instant book option by the way not a sponsor whatsoever so i decided to just instant book a hip camp in in indiana that's right <laughs> we are in indiana i don't even know exactly how long we just drove for but it is 5.30 right now. We left at 2 a.m. So, so 15 hours? So we've been on the road for 15 hours, right? We did so many stops. I stopped several, several, several times for Sky because I was just nervous. What just went down was the longest time Sky has ever been in the car and she did incredible. Like blew my mind. I thought max six hours because she's done six hour drives before. That was her current, um, you know, max amount of time in a vehicle. Threw that out the window. She just doubled that. More than doubled, right? Anyway, so here's the hip cam. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Nothing crazy. <laughs> hey, Bob, you want some water? Every time we stopped, I gave her water too. By the way, don't worry. Like, she did incredible. She peed, pooped every time, drank water. Like, she's just been the best dog to ever exist. I, I, I don't know why I'm acting shocked, you know? Is that yummy? All right, let's get this camper popped up. Is that so yummy? I got a cooling blanket because I knew we were gonna be somewhere where it's hot. So we're gonna give that a good old dangle. Hopefully that works. I have a cooling blanket for Sky and myself. Sky's is just in the front seat, but you know. It is so uncomfortably hot and I'm in my pajama pants still. I was not gonna change to drive. Psh. It was 30 degrees this morning and now we're in 70 degrees. This is, this is intense. Little little bit of an adjustment period for Miss Sky, so my ratchet's kind of holding this beautiful fan for Sky. Window, 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 and then again, one fan, two fan, three fan. In my opinion, it's comfortable in here now, but Sky takes longer to cool down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crawl into bed with my new cooling blanket, which I'm really excited about. Shout out. Amazon I'll lay under this fan And I'm just gonna relax. Oh my god. It feels so good to lay down right now. How the heck did we just drive all the way to Indiana? It's night on the menu Tylenol PM baby <laughs> I'm not kidding either. I ate some very delicious Chipotle earlier and if you've ever had Chipotle, it fills you up for literally the entire day, at least for me. So I had a Chipotle bowl and I'm still full. 
Hopefully this helps my headache too. It's currently 6.30 and I was a little confused why it's so bright out. The sun goes down at eight o'clock right now, like 8.05, didn't get the memo. So I'm going to bed with the sun still up. I'm just like, Sky's been asleep. She's done, I'm done. I'm gonna let her go to the, the fan fell. Wow, that's totally fine, dude. I don't even know what I was saying. Let's go potty. I can't believe I'm just sleeping on a farm right now. This is crazy. I didn't even look at the hip camp. I just booked it. Do you like the hip camp? Oh, yeah. If you're curious about where we're even headed and what the game plan is, there's like a game plans, but not an end goal necessarily. I know the states that I'm going to, but I, and I also know where I'm like stopping going type of thing, but it's, it's kind of confusing. There's no like insane end goal, but I want to get to where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. We're going somewhere that requires us to be there. You know, <laughs> we're currently 15 hours away from where we're supposed to be. Not where we're supposed to be, but where we need to be for, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to do 10 hours tomorrow. That might be insanely amb ambitious though. I, I don't know if I have that in me. Did you, can you hear the horses and the cows? Am I gonna sleep with that all night? No. Hey, you didn't, I saw you, I was watching you. You didn't even go to the bathroom. Okay, go pee, go pee. She's such a good dog. When I say go pee, she literally goes pee on command. Well, right now is not a good example. <laughs> I just don't want to like push Sky too hard, but also like she did so good today that I have a lot of confidence she'll be okay to do another 10 hours tomorrow. Before I go to bed, this is a life hack. I know, pimple and pimple. I don't really get acne ever. I've been super blessed my entire life. So one thing that I do do when I get it and I've only done it a few times and it works every time, is I put toothpaste on the pimples. I leave the toothpaste on, usually overnight. It looks ridiculous, but it works. All right, folks, this is embarrassing because I can't believe I look like this right now. And it's, it's, what time is it? For an actual time check for you guys. Six. 57, yeah, 654, wow. Okay, say goodnight cows. I'll see you guys in the morning. Quite stuffy this morning probably because I didn't get too much sleep well no I probably got seven hours still maybe if yeah <coughs> I will say this and I'm not being dramatic last night was the worst storm that I've ever camped in maybe top three but I'm trying to think of a storm worse than last night. I was completely unaware that it was even gonna rain. I got so nervous that I downloaded a tornado tracker on my phone because that's how bad it was. I thought that a tornado was coming. <laughs> Indiana, home of Caitlin Clark, right? Is that where Caitlin Clark is going? Indiana, I don't know.
Okay, I just took off the toothpaste. See if you guys can get a good view, but... I mean, the toothpaste overnight. It's kind of a life hack. I've been doing it since I was young. My cousin taught me it, and I've never stopped using it, so... We still have 10 hours that I need to crank out before Saturday. Like, I need to be somewhere that's 10 hours away Saturday, you know? I feel like it might be cold out. It's so windy. It's like 60 mile per hour winds right now. I, I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I haven't even shown you where I am in Indiana, but like, Indianapolis is right there. And then today we have to go through, well, I'm obviously that blue dot right there. So I'm like right side, right outside of Indianapolis. And then I have to, I think I'm driving through St. Louis, Missouri today. So we're going to Missouri, baby. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? I don't know. You're going to, you're going to squat to go pee and the wind's just going to take you away. It's kind of spooky, but we got this. Come on, baby. Oh, big stretch. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. The form. Mwah. You can't make it up. You're so freaking perfect. You're so cute. I did all the latches. With this truck camper, you don't have to put all the latches on, but I don't know. It's really windy, so I want to do. All right, folks. Sky and I are going to put directions on. Just see how many hours we can crank out. I might see you guys in a few hours. I don't know. That's the Mississippi River. Yeah, baby. We're going over the Mississippi. St. Louis, thanks for letting me drive through. Peace out, Girl Scout. When we lay down. The feel hood, how we would, couldn't change me. Try to cut my head inside me that you couldn't phase me. Who's you? Is it gonna break my heart? Picking up dishes, throwing them at you. Why are you speaking when no one asked you? I'm lying, no one I'm crying. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Yes, no, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Yes. It's beautiful things that I've got. Yeah, yeah, be very afraid. While I'm here, I'm gonna go inside and go pee. So I really hope no one stares at me. I know I have toothpaste on my face. Okay, I, I went to the bathroom and I took it off my face, but it looks better, I hope. Ah. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to Joplin, Missouri. Missouri, Missouri. Come on, baby girl, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, stretch those legs, girl. We officially have driven eight hours. And we're like, at this very second, we've driven eight hours total. So that means we're two hours away because we were gonna crank out 10 hours today or do half and half. She's peeing, good job. Um, that's not happening. I'm starting to get delusional, okay? I'm using that uh, website I occasionally use, freecampsites.net, where people like me and maybe you that do this type of lifestyle, they'll pinpoint places that they've camped at successfully, places that allow it, whatever. And there's plenty of spots for Sky and I. So what I'm thinking, I'm not cooking breakfast. Nope, I'm not cooking dinner again. I'm going to bed. <laughs> so there's nothing you guys are about to miss except for the fact that I'm gonna edit this video and have it uploaded because if I don't edit tonight, you guys will not get a video this Sunday. So if you're watching this on April 21st, that means I successfully edited tonight while being tired. So, heck yeah. So that's a game plan, edit, go to bed, and then wake up, crank out the last two hours to the place that I really wanna camp at tomorrow night. And then we have technically, I just ignore it, but we have five hours to, after driving the next two hours to the, the place I'm most excited for. In today's episode, we drove through, I think nine states, Rhode Island, Connecticut, 
New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. This video was uh, <laughs> a little expensive on gas money to say the least. I just can't wait. I I'm ready to drive honestly another 10 hours right now, but I can't because mentally I should I need to I need to calm down. I need I need to I'm here, I need to be down here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. I had so much fun driving, even though there was times where I was tired. Sky has done phenomenal in the car. We've stopped every two hours for her. She's just been doing incredible and I'm so happy with how things are going so far. So fingers crossed it stays like that, right? <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.